Mr Speaker, while the final report of the infected blood inquiry has been postponed until March, Sir Brian Longstaff, Langstaff, the independent chair, has already published his recommendations on compensation for victims of that scandal. Can the Prime Minister explain why his government insists on postponing its response until after publication of the final report, kicking it into the long grass and delaying justice once again for my constituents Justine, Rachel and Paul, whose fathers died as a result of that scandal, as well as thousands of others across these aisles? Mr Speaker, as I said previously from the dispatch box, what happened was an appalling uh, tragedy and my heart goes out to all of those affected and their families. Uh, I've given extensive evidence to the inquiry, uh, so my position on this matter is on the record, but I would say there is extensive work that has been going on in government for a long time, coordinated by the Minister for the Cabinet Office, as well as interim payments of £100,000 being made to those who are affected.